So I'm going to the farm and I hear this beep when I'm pulling out of the driveway and I'm like, huh, my truck doesn't make a backup beeping noise. And then I realized, oh, it's this being backed off that trailer. That was a moment of silence because I have no idea what to say. Where did that thing come from? What am I supposed to do with it? And isn't that cool? Titan Tire has some competition around here. I guess. The tractor is no longer the biggest thing on the farm. And you really got to be careful what you order on Amazon these days. It yeah, will show up. They don't even show up in boxes anymore. They're just dropping them off. So now here's the real problem. I've got to go and drive a combine all day. Don't you want to drive this though? Well, duh, yeah, but... Maybe we can use this as the green cool. card. We'll just put the bucket up. All right, well... We're just going to put a little pause on this situation here because I've got work to do, but... We'll come back to this. Today's video sponsor is Upside. Inflation has us all thinking about ways we can cut back. However, something we can't cut back on is inputs for the farm. I am always driving all over from place to place to pick up parts, and I find myself at the gas pump more often than not. That is why I use Upside, because when I am at the pump spending money on gas to get me from parts run to the field, I can actually be earning cash back in real time and it's super, super easy. And we all know when I make a parts run to town, I have to stop and get a coffee. You just almost have to. Um, and Upside doesn't just earn you cash back at the gas pump, it can also earn you cash back when you're buying groceries or eating out at restaurants. All you have to do to get started is download the free Upside app in the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. It's as simple as checking in in the app wherever you're making your purchase, make your purchase with a credit or debit card, and then scan your receipt, and boom, you're earning cash back. Use my promo code Laura Farms to get $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more. You can cash out anytime to your bank account, a PayPal account, or an e-gift card to somewhere else online. With Upside, earning cash back is as simple as buying groceries, filling up with gas, or going out to eat. What are you gonna do with your cash back? So before getting out to the combine, I had to deliver Grant. They had some work done on their loader tractor. You know how much Grant, um, loves his loader tractor. Man, these tires look so small compared to the big tractor. <laughs> I know, right? Isn't it like crazy? Pizza cutters. <laughs> Anyways, so we had some work done to it. Um, and so we were just admiring all the other old things around here. But we are going to go on a quick little date. We don't get to spend a lot of time together during harvest. Our schedules are very hit and miss and we're always like doing different things at different hours of the day. And so we're gonna go on a quick little coffee date before we split up for the day. And uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna take the loader tractor. Some people, you know, take limousines out to fancy dinners and some people get cool cars to take their wives out in. No, hi. I get the trusty old 7810. Wouldn't want it any other way. There's uh, not a lot for seating in here. So this is me right here. That's the... Uh, Law Enforcement Center. Better make a full stop, yeah. Grant, at that stop sign. All right, let's continue on. Pull over trackers? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I think the rules are a little unclear in an agricultural we'll community. Tip our hat to them and they'll tip our hat to us. <laughs> uh, what does that mean? Due respect. It goes both ways. Two okay. Way here. Okay. Just a very quick jaunt down the highway here. We're almost to the coffee place. Sorry, everybody. And scooters it is. I would have gone with a local car.
coffee place, but we couldn't fit through the drive throughs of any of those places. But luckily, Scooters has a nice uh, open, open concept plan. How are we going to do this? We're definitely going the wrong way. We're definitely going the wrong way in the drive through right now. Clear, it's nine foot. Oh boy. Oh no. <laughs> what can I get for you? Could I do a medium iced for malicious? Don't hit that car in front of us. Remember, you got those loader things. Well, on. I could just push them right out of the way if I wanted to. <laughs> I know you could. Don't. All right. Hopefully that drink carrier holds. It's kind of a bumpy ride in oh, here. Oh boy! Oh no! The needle here. I guess we can just move anything we need to. It's kind of a tight squeeze here. Oh, we're good. Oh, I didn't even curb check. You're set. All right. Back to the farm. Back to the farm. No more fun. Dad is headed out with the truck. I took it upon myself to hire my own truck driver for today. Found a guy who has a truck and a grain trailer. And I started thinking, I was like, man, if we don't have enough people, I should just do something about it. So I hired a guy, so he'll be coming out um, at some point today. I'm kind of excited about it. I've never hired someone before. Um, but it should be a good day. The corn is honestly still a little bit wet, but the cop is doing a drying program and they're drying it for cheaper than we could dry it ourselves. And it feels good to be productive. So we aren't going to be doing a lot of the heart of the field. I'm going to be doing a lot of end rows. And then once we're done on this field, I think we're going to move fields and do the end rows on another field because that's where the driest corn is. Um, so just getting things opened up like here you can see. So this corn just a little bit too wet yet, but we can do all this and then in where the pivot doesn't quite get and then all around on that side of the road. Let's get our brightness up here. We're in a camera and I'm trying to go here. Here we go. Field view cab. This is what um, we put all our data into. There we go. Now it's loading. It's the morning time. Just take things a little bit. So here's the fields we're in, this one and this one, they're connected. So we did all this around the outside. The pivot does this middle here. And then we're gonna go all the way down here, here, and here. Yeah, this is the stuff I wanna be harvesting right here. I wanna get this out of the field before it's so windy that the stuff falls over. All right, so you can see the, this is where the pivot goes. You can see that clear line. That red is where it's not yielding very well. This is dry land. Then you can really see the immediate difference that the irrigation makes. So I'm just notching in. And I thought I had it perfect. Except I'm leaving one row over there. So I got to come back and get that. The row of shame. All right, my guy is here. Look at this beauty. Can you believe this thing? things way nicer than the white little day cab semi trucks that I have. Consider myself lucky to have this in my field. It's so shiny. No auto steer in this thing. Oh, three quarters of the way full. I'm doing all the driving. Not a bad view if you ask me. driver is back and I'm just doing a quick pit stop filling up with diesel exhaust fluid and topping off my fuel so we can go all night. I love this fuel trailer here. So efficient, so handy. All right, we're shutting down operations at this field. Things are just getting a little too wet. The combine is handling it fine, but 
We're just a few points over what the co-op wants us to take in. So they haven't rejected any loads, but they're like, eh, you kind of need to stop what you're doing. So I have to my pickup so I can pick up dad and we're gonna start moving equipment to another field, which is essentially just back and forth, and back and forth, and back and forth. Lots of driving, um, which is normally fine. I love the pickup that I get to drive around in, but I look down, um, I've got 31 miles to empty. Not good. We'll see if I can do this. Made it with 10 miles to spare. I have to say, on the uh, new Ram pickups that I have, I don't love where you put fuel into. Instead of having a twist off cap, you just like push the nozzle in. I don't like that. I feel like there's a lot of chance for stuff to get in your tank. Maybe that's just me though. Look at that sunset. Isn't that pretty? The corn in this field is a lot drier. There's the moisture there. So I think the co-op's gonna be a little bit happier with this. And it harvests a lot easier. What a, a beautiful view. I think this is going to be our last load of the night. I sent off um, two trucks right before the clock closed and they made it and then they came back and I filled them so they can like go home to their houses and sleep. But then when they wake up in the morning, they can take the trucks in right away. Um, we'll have another busy day tomorrow, I'm sure. Um, but I really appreciate you guys watching and following along on my farming journey. I love making these videos for you, so I'm gonna keep doing it. Uh, if you haven't already, now is your time and chance to subscribe to see a lot more videos like this. We're be doing this all fall, baby. So.